Alright. What up, YouTube? Digital. I need to get the fuck out of here. I'm going insane. I need a monitor. This 19 inch ain't fucking doing it. So, God. Uh. Alright. I don't Twitter. Okay. I have Twitter. What is this one? This is the one that goes to your Firefox. Uh. Whatever this Twitter echo phone or whatever that goes on to your, uh. Your Firefox, uh, and um, I only follow like six people. One of them used to be Cal Fire News. Cal Fire News started a couple of years back, about three years ago, and uh, he f consistently had been sending out uh, tweets about actual Cal Fire events. And, you know, because I like public safety, bullshit like that, I sub to him. And, uh, till now, he's been getting a pretty good following. He's got about 5,000 tweets. Then, it hit the fan. He let his personal beliefs and bullshit take over his Twitter feed for this occupied crap. He's done started really pissing people off, so people are starting to drop from him pretty rapidly and I don't I can't believe he's such a fucking moron and he can't see it. But he's ruining a great service that he built up because he's injecting his personal bullshit into it, which is is uh, crap. On top of that, it got even better. So he's acting like super, uh, uh, super, uh, you know, occupier, whatever. You know, he, he's, he's now against the cops, too. I don't know, because a couple of cops got busted at a cigar bar or some bullshit. I don't know. Whatever. But, uh, he's just being a fucking ass clown about this whole occupied thing and you know fuck the cops you're all gonna die and all this other bullshit you know being one of those just not fucking normal youtube type nut cases and uh... i was looking around he started passing a link telling people to donate and i was like oh fuck not another donator so I click, and he's got this fucking website set up to, to pay him to go to this fucking protest that he's preaching that everybody should go. He's, you know, he's acting as cheerleader to these fucking protests, and now he has a website up to pay him to go. What the fuck? So wait a minute here. You're going to ruin your good Twitter feed, something that people actually liked and respected you for, to, so you can inject it with all your personal fucking communistic bullshit ideologies that nobody gives a fuck about. People need to remember this protest is nothing. Okay? It's got maybe, at the most, and I'm over exaggerating, 15,000 people. Okay, nothing's going to change on this protest. Nowhere close is anything going to change. People can't even figure out who the villains are. There are more normal people walking around day-to-day -day life that are more involved in this bullshit that they're pissed off about than any CEO. The lady that sold me the loan that was an independent mortgage broker had more to do with it than any CEO or any bank executive in any bank in America. She had more to do with it. The inspector that lied with her had more to do with it than any fucking bank executive. I have not met one person, and I in my town was the, uh, Chico, you guys can fucking look it up. Chico, Northern California was one of the hardest hit areas. You know, well, most of the places said they're the hardest hit, but they were. Because Chico has no job to support the fucking three or four, five hundred thousand dollar houses people were shelling out. The people that got fucked all around there, they couldn't blame it on any bank. 
The banks weren't doing the loans. It was mortgage brokers. So this, these people are fucking out here talking about your shit. Oh, we're going to quit our city bank thing. That ain't going to do shit. You know, it's like, don't buy oil for today. Buy it tomorrow. We're going to protest. You're still going to buy the oil. You're still going to go get a bank account somewhere else. You fucking idiots. But then on top of that, you got to fucking protest. You got to be the cheerleader. You got to tell people you're fucking crazy if you're not down there and all this other shit. And if you go, dude... What are you guys talking about? Equal money? Fuck you. I make what I make. I don't want anybody else's money. I make my own. And on top of that, he wants to be paid to go down there. The protest. What the fuck? He wants what sixteen hundred bucks to support direct action on the street. Yep, sixteen hundred bucks. Some dumb fucks, some stupid dumb motherfuckers have already given him a hundred and eighteen bucks. Stupid dumb fucking idiots. I can't even fathom what stupid fucking morons gave this guy money. You know? It's the stupidest fucking thing I've heard in a very long time. Who the fuck would give this guy money to protest? To protest a protest that he's been, he, you know, he won't shut up about. A protest that he was ruining a perfectly good, you know, service over. And you know what? If you have a business or whatever, if you want your business to succeed, you got to get your personal life out of your fucking business life. Okay? If you're going to sit here and have a restaurant downtown, you know, and, you know, maybe you shoot the shit politically with some of your customers back and forth. Hey, you know, that that's life. But to see here and put a fucking sign out here, the fuck all the banks, fuck all this other bullshit, fuck the corporations, fuck the government and everything else. And you're down in Wall Street and you don't realize that everybody that fucking goes to your place works for one of those places that you just said fuck to. You're going to lose. So, why would the fucking hell would you do that? You know, the, <sighs> this is just fucking stupid. I... <sighs> this is fucking stupid really is. If you want to go and protest so much, then get your fucking ass up and go and protest. Don't fucking beg for money to go protest. This is fucking ridiculous. And on top of that, Anonymous today released a video about or maybe it was yesterday. I don't fucking care. About uh, the Tampa one. The Tampa occupied blah 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 was taking donations and apparently is drummed up over three thousand dollars and nobody knows where that money went. So these people are protesting the evils of fucking Wall Street that had nothing to do with it. You know oh, Jesus Christ, people don't know. You guys gotta fucking really look into it. I mean it's there are more and you know, it's like blaming all the crime on the mafia. You know, you're, the bank down the street gets right. Oh, it was the mob. It was the mob. Six-year-old girl, you know, in the same apartment complex gets raped. Oh, mafia did it, you know. Von Helton's kids got the mob. The mob. The mob. You know, fucking do the research and figure out what really happened. Why would a CEO of a bank tell, tell the bankers to lower... 
what was needed to get a loan when they didn't have to do anything they they didn't it was Clinton that lowered the qualifications for first-time buyers and funny thing is is if you haven't owned a home in three years you're a first-time buyer how the fuck that works I don't know but those were the qualifications the bank didn't set those Clinton did learn who the real villains are didn't smash it anybody taking money for this oh is a fucking puke <laughs>